Ever watched a storm rip across the UK and wondered why flights still take off? Flooded runways, sideways rain, 70 mph gusts, yet your jet rolls anyway. Here's the truth passengers never hear. Pilots don't fear storms. They manage them. Takeoff is the real test. Wet runways mean hydroplaning risk. Gusts can push the aircraft off center line, so pilots rebuild the entire takeoff calculation. Headwind advantage, runway contamination adjustments, exact wind limits. If the gust is one knot over the limit, takeoff is cancelled instantly. But storms like Claudia hide something far more dangerous wind shear. Once airborne, radar becomes the only truth. Airbus and Boeing weather radars slice the storm vertically, showing turbulence, hail, and updrafts as red pulsing towers. Pilots constantly tilt the radar cone to scan every layer. If they see a cell forming, they divert around it. If the winds shift, they change altitude. You never power through a storm. You tactically avoid the worst. But landing in a storm is where skill really shows. Heavy rain turns the runway into a mirror, perfect for hydroplane. Crosswinds can shove a 70-ton jet sideways, so pilots land firm, not soft. That jolt you feel? That's deliberate. It cuts through the water layer and restores grip. A soft landing in a storm is actually dangerous. So while Storm Claudia floods streets and shuts rail lines, pilots lean on wind limits, radar intelligence, hydroplaning physics, and thousands of hours of sim training. It looks like chaos outside, um, but up front it's controlled calculation. So be honest, would you take off in a storm like this, or would you stay on the ground?